Hey guys, Aston here. What is of the hyper leveled orientated perspective? Now, in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the time I got offered cocaine in fifth grade. See, now, when you're in fifth grade, you're about 10, and you go to school, you come back, and you don't expect to be offered cocaine. But on this particular day when I went to school, like, I don't even know, like, I have no words for this. So it was about lunchtime and the teacher was like walking us down to like the cafeteria. So to get to the cafeteria, the class needs to go down a nearby flight of stairs, out the exit, crossing the schoolyard and into the main entrance. From there, the cafeteria is 15 feet away. So the class is going to lunch now and stops before exiting to the main entrance. So me and the whole class were waiting on the stairs, waiting for the teacher to come down from the classroom because she instructed us not to exit out the door yet. And in that time waiting for the teacher, that was when things got a bit weird. And when I mean a bit weird, I mean fucking what the fuck, man. So this kid who usually starts trouble starts like offering this quote unquote pixie dust to everyone, right? His group of buddies tell him to persuade me to try this pixie dust. So, he comes down to the landing of the stairs where I am, then he pulls out his magical pixie dust and offers it to me, as a dare. And he says, if I do it, then he'll give me like $5. Okay, so I'm not the brightest person, but I was bright enough to know that something was up. So, over and over again, this fellow 10 year old is insisting on me fucking snorting cocaine. Then I looked into his eyes, that's when I knew something was definitely up, like I've seen this kid's pupils before, but I kid you not, this guy's eyes looks like the width of a starter gauge. So he's still asking me to take some, so I finally gave in and reached to his sweater pocket cause he was fucking annoying me. So now he was telling me to snort it, like sniff it, sniff it. You'll be fine. So then I was like, fuck that. Then I dropped like the pinch of cocaine that I had in my fingers. So finally, the teacher comes down. When doing so, some kid snitched on the kid trying to make me snort cocaine. So she comes all the way down to where the kid is and directs him to show her his pockets. So the sweater he had on was a one pocketed sweater to when the teacher peered in, it was full of cocaine. Like there was like literally half a cup of cocaine in this guy's sweater keep in mind he's only 10 so i can't remember what the teacher says but she freaks out she grabs the boy by his hand but here is where things get a little bit interesting this boy has the audacity to say it wasn't just me it was him too and this little motherfucker points to me so this teacher tried to verify the validity of this and I told her it was false and then she told me along with the crackhead you have to go to the main office too so I started freaking out because I did not do anything well probably I should not have touched it in the first place so I told the teacher that I touched it and put it on the floor and did not do anything other than that but still she was still going to take me to the main office so as quickly as she can holding me by one hand and holding the crack kid in the other hand she exits the door with the whole class following behind her crosses the yard and into the main entrance from which right there is the main office so she drops us off at the main office telling the principal the whole story then took the class to lunch so now i'm in the principal's office because of something i did not do and scared shitless because i did not know what was about to happen so the principal asks me if i did the cocaine and i told him no because i only picked it up then dropped it almost instantly so now the principal asks if what happened is actually true so the boy admitted that he was in possession of cocaine then the principal asks him if I really took some and said no. So the principal releases me to lunch. So at this point I was so relieved cause I thought if they actually believed the boy then not only would I have gotten in trouble at home and got that ass whooping but I thought I would have went to jail and took in that ass taking. So right now I just want to take a good minute and think about this whole situation. At that time I was in 5th grade, I was 10 years old, the other kid, he was 10, also in 5th grade, and 
this boy offered me illegal narcotics. Like, where do you even get that from when you're 10? Like, you're freaking 10. How do you obtain illegal narcotics? Like, how? Like, that's like so mind boggling. Like, what? And so, yeah, that was the time when I was offered illegal narcotics when my whole grade did not know the difference from the three yours. So guys, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, and if not, just click off. I hope you guys have a nice day, and this has been Astrin, and I'm out. Peace. This commentary was recorded with no pants on.